Hey Libra, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for April for Libras out there, okay? So if this reading resonates for you, Libra, I do encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. You don't. <laughs> Personal readings, I am available. Yes, I am. Um, you can buy one on my website. You can also go to my Etsy shop. I have uh, video recorded readings as well as um, Etsy message ones, okay? I also have my tarot, oracle decks, and spiritual jewelry on Etsy. Your bonus extended reading, Libra, is up on Vimeo. How does your person feel for April? All right, let's jump right in. Let's get your messages. Libra, Libra, Libra. What's happening for my Libras out there? Libra, the Six of Cups is here for your challenge, okay? So some of you guys, you're thinking about a past lover, a past situation. Someone here you have a lot of strong feelings for. Someone you have a lot of history with, okay? There's a lot of reminiscing, a lot of thinking, um, reflecting, fantasizing, dreaming about each other. I think you both have these strong feelings for each other. Maybe you guys are separated, which could be why the challenge is the Six of Cups. There could be someone here who wants to come into your life. The Six of Cups can definitely be a reconciliation of some sort. So some of you guys are distant from someone here in your life. And you both really want to come together. And that's the challenge. Can we come together? Okay. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, Libra. In a recent past, we have the Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. In verse, a page of Pentacles in a verse. It looks like there was a beautiful offer of love here in the past. Libra, did someone not want it? I feel like there was a beautiful love offer, but someone here was not communicating. Some of you guys, Libra, you found out something that you didn't want to find out. Maybe someone here was lying to you. There could have been major, major problems and issues regarding communication, honesty, being truthful. And I also feel like someone here was holding back, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Page of Pentacles is here in the verse. Someone here was holding back an offer. Someone here stopped trying. Someone was not initiating, um, uh, offering something here, whether it be their time, their energy, their effort. There's something here that was missing. So I feel like there wasn't enough to support this new beginning that you and this person um, were having. Now, in the current energy, we've got the tower. What's up with that? The lovers in reverse and the justice in reverse. There's definitely some kind of big separation going on right now. I feel like things are very unstable. Things are very tumultuous. Uh, it could be some kind of chaotic situation. The tower could be drama filled. It could be something that came out. The lovers card is in reverse. It's causing some kind of riff in this really, really strong connection. We've got all these major arcanas, okay? So it looks like right now, Libra, you're going through it regarding your partnerships, relationships right now. And with the Justice card in reverse, it's almost like, you know, I don't deserve this. You know, um, there's someone that you may feel has wronged you. There could be a legal or court situation going on as well. But for the majority of you guys, there's something here about, uh, I, don't, I don't deserve this. You know, you wronged me. You hurt me. That's not fair. There could be something that's very one-sided, right? You could be feeling like I gave you all my love, my loyalty, and then you gave me nothing back. So there definitely could be a situation that's un unfair, unequal, okay? And something's got to change. You know, the tower, is it comes in because literally it's the universe saying, this ain't working. This is not sustainable, okay? And it has to change, okay? So this could be a Gemini, another Libra like you, or Scorpio. On your mind, Libra, is the Emperor and the Ten of Wands in verse. On your mind is taking back control. On your mind is moving forward, maybe making better decisions, the, the emperor could be literally just like, I'm ready to move forward. I'm really, really willing to take charge of a situation and move in the direction I want. Um, moving away from burdens, blockages, things that don't serve me. Uh, if there's a cycle here or a situation here that has ended, it's like moving away from it, saying, okay, and now I'm ready. I'm moving forward. I'm getting out of this situation and predicament. I'm rising above. And that could be something that you're doing right now, my Libras. All right, let's see what's going on in the foundation. What is... In the foundation, the moon, <laughs> the queen of wands, and the eight of swords in reverse. Now, there's someone here, Leo Sedge, Aries, also could be a Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, who is feeling quite restricted, feeling a little bit tied up here. Now, I feel like this is someone who's very much inspired. There's some kind of 
uh, change. I think they want action. They want, but they're very, very, I would say closed off, very secretive and mysterious. I feel like they're not revealing everything to you right now, Libra. There's something that this person's holding back on. This person can have a lot of secret feelings for you, repressed emotions. And I feel like there's something that's keeping them stuck. It's like they really want to take action. They really desire something. Um, but there's something that they're having to maybe let go of, free themselves from. This could be mentally. It could be um, a physical situation. But there is something here they're working on releasing themselves from. I think that is responsible why uh, you guys are where you are right now. It could also be why there's a challenge to reconciling. Because this person is held up in a situation that they don't want to be in. And you may be unaware of this with the moon card. Let's see what we can find out with the outcome. Seven of Cups in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, a lot of cups here, and the Three Pentacles. It does look like whoever you're dealing with, Libra, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty as to where you stand with them. I do see that you guys are becoming crystal clear, okay? You're going to be more clear about what's happening, uh, what they mean to you, what their feelings are. Someone is returning, Libra. Okay, so the challenge is Six of Cups, reconciling, and the Eight of Cups in verse, someone is returning to you. And it does like whatever, uh, whoever this person is, someone's returning because they're not happy elsewhere, and they do see happiness with you. There's a lot of feelings and emotions still that this person has for you, and I feel like this person's coming back to explore it more. But they're also coming back to really... Uh, I would say safeguard and solidify this connection, the three of pentacles. Can we get on the same page? Let's try to understand each other. Let's meet each other halfway. Let's compromise, okay? So the three of pentacles are really good energy for, you know, let's really try to make this work, okay? Teamwork makes the dream work, right? <laughs> uh, all right, you guys, let's jump right in. I cracked myself up, y'all. Six of cups. Let's see what that challenge is all about. Again, if you really resonate with these readings i do encourage you guys to like share comment and subscribe all right six of cups for my libras out there your bonus extended reading is up on vimeo if you guys want to check it out libra six of cups who is this what's going on here why is it challenge of six of cups Okay, well, the challenge is, well, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Someone here with the Ace of Swords, someone here is coming back and they want to confess. It's almost like, I'm sorry I did this or this is why I did it. Um, I'm sorry I hurt you. It could be an apology, but it also could just be someone saying uh, they want to clear the air as to what happened. There's a lot of truth. There's a lot of communication coming in. And I do feel like it's, it's, it's an apology as well because we have the Six of Cups, right? Someone is... Uh, expressing their feelings to you someone could be literally giving you a bouquet of flowers i'm sorry i apologize but really this is someone who wants to clear the air with you so there's someone here in your life libra who has done you wrong who may have lied cheated deceived you went behind your back betrayed you seven of swords is that energy but we also see the energy of now wanting to move past that now wanting to clear the air wanting to be honest and truthful ace of swords i want to break through that mess right i want to move past that ace of swords someone definitely wants to speak their truth now, give me the recent past here. In the recent past, we have this beautiful energy, Six of Cups and the Hierophant. In the recent past with the Ace of Cups, wow, this definitely was someone that you fell in love with. I feel like there was definitely this person that uh, I'm getting all these dreamy energy. I'm getting like you were in the clouds, okay? You, you really uh, cared for this person immensely. I even feel like this was really moving towards some kind of commitment at one point. The Hierophant is here. You guys were maybe discussing commitment or discussing marriage. This could have been a Taurus. There's a lot of sweet feelings here. There's a lot of romance, a lot of beautiful energy. Give me the Page of Pentacles. What happened here? Um, four wands in verse of the seven cups. Someone brought some kind of confusion to a situation here. I feel like that's the reason why someone stopped or held back. I feel like there's something regarding the home front, okay, a family situation, the home, literally, okay. Maybe a marriage. Maybe someone didn't tell you that they were married. Maybe someone, you know, there's something going on regarding a marriage or the home. I feel someone may have stopped um, coming home at night. There's something this person changed up doing things. It's like they stopped doing something. And then you could have felt like, okay, well, they're not being honest with me. Libra, right? That's your energy, queen of swords and verse. There's something you found out and it brought a lot of confusion to the situation. Seven of cups. It's like, well, what's going on? How do you feel for me? You know, what's... I, I'm getting mixed messages, okay? So there's something regarding the home. Either this person stopped showing up. They stopped... Uh, you know, reaching out to you. They stopped coming over. There's definitely some kind of big change. Give me this energy, Queen of Swords. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys, it was related to a third party. The reason why this person 
started to act different okay um this person's definitely could have been some interference here and you didn't understand it it's almost like you guys there's something that you didn't know and therefore you weren't on the same page here with the three of pentacles in verse give me the tower now the towers can look different for everyone here right but it's some kind of big big sudden change drama chaos okay it's not comfortable to have to go through it's it's really groundbreaking okay it's earth shattering i don't know what to say it's just a lot uh a change happening a very little short amount of time very abrupt change seven of wands and that's why you guys are extremely guarded toward each other right now um it's almost like you guys are not fighting for this connection anymore because someone feels like well you did that to me you know so the tower universe whatever happened you guys stopped investing you stopped protecting the connection you stop fighting for what you want in this connection queen of pentacles reverse because someone was not committal or someone was not able to give the commitment i also feel there could have been a taurus virgo capricorn that may have interfered in this connection why is the justice card here two of cups and the six of wands the thing is that even though someone here did not do right by you at least you feel this person didn't do right by you libra there's definitely that strong connection we got the two of cups we got the lovers card here so even in the current energy it's like you both know, okay, what this is. You both know that this connection, this soul connection is, you know, it's very strong, even though something has not been victorious. You both feel like you've disappointed each other. There's definitely energy of a failure here. Like, I failed at this. I could have done better, okay? Six of Wands and Verse, I feel like both of you guys are not really showing much attention to each other. I'm getting a lot of awkwardness, okay? Especially with the lovers in reverse, you guys are making a decision to kind of I'm getting like you guys are looking in opposite directions. You guys have kind of gone separate ways. Knight, Knight of Wands in verse. Leo, Sag, Aries. Someone is afraid to come towards you. Libra, someone's afraid to come towards you. They know that they still love and care for you. But there is something about, I don't know what to do about the situation. I feel like I've disappointed Libra. I feel like Libra doesn't want, um, you know, uh, to be seen. Or, you know, Libra doesn't want to see me. There's definitely it's a lot of hesitancy in coming towards you. Um, give me the Emperor with the Ten of Wands for you, Libra. Three of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles in verse. I do think you guys, Libra, are thinking about a reconciliation, coming together, reunion, reconnecting, Three of Cups, having good old time. But there's something, Libra, here with the Emperor that you feel very, very firm and strong about. Um, the Seven of Pentacles in verse, you certainly don't want to invest in people, person, uh, person, situations, things that are not a good investment for you. So there's something about you being very cautious. Um, Libra, the Emperor is about really, you know, standing firm on it, you know, not wanting to go back to situations that aren't for you. You want to keep moving forward. So with the Seven of Pentacles, it's definitely energy of like, I want to make sure I'm, I'm giving to situations that give back to me. I'm investing in, uh, you know, I'm investing or planting these seeds for something long term okay so i do see that the three cups you do think about this person but there's very very uh, focus on long-term growth security stability okay so the moon what's this moon about secrets deception eight of wands in reverse and the king of wands in reverse leo sag aries energy um there's definitely a lack of communication from this person. I feel this person definitely has secrets, things that are not clear. And it could be why you guys aren't talking right now because you could be feeling like there's some things that are hidden. Um, I don't know everything that's going on. This person has not come to clear the air yet. Again, the, the challenge is the Seven of Swords in verse with the Ace of Swords. So the challenge is for this person to finally um, speak their truth, okay? Um, with conviction, be honest, okay? Confess. And I feel like there's something here where this person hasn't done it yet. So that could be something that they're working on freeing themselves from a situation so that they can finally be honest with you and truthful especially if it's regarding a third party it's like this person has to admit that yeah i, I screwed up right king of wands and verse i was only thinking about myself i was being selfish um i wasn't putting you first right and so there's the energy of this person uh, finally confessing owning up to what they did and i think that is why this person is in this moon energy why they're very secretive and why there's no communication eight of wands and verse because it's going to take some courage right it's gonna take some courage and willpower for this person to confess their feelings confess what they did tell you why they did it why is the eight of swords here ace of cups and that's why an opportunity has been missed right now because this person is not yet ready they're working on breaking free from a situation in order for this new beginning to take place it's not going to happen until this person lets go of this eight of swords this could be them feeling just not confident about themselves lacking security 
um, you know, feeling tied, stuck, bound to a situation, negative thoughts, that could be holding them back from having this new beginning with you. And again, we have the energy of like, let's, I want to be honest. I want to tell you everything that happened. So I do feel like you will become clear about this person's intentions. Seven of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Swords. And I feel like, Libra, you may not be expecting this. I mean, I feel with the Moon and the Eight of Cups in verse, you're not going to expect this person to come back in the way that they do. Um, it could bring forth a lot of anxieties and fears within you. Why is the Eight of Cups here? But they're returning because the devil is in reverse. This person is freeing themselves from things that no longer serve them. They want to let go of toxic behavior patterns, okay? Um, things that they do, that things that don't serve them. I even feel like Eight of Cups and Verses, this person realizing that they could be so much happier with you if they let go of things like the devil, right? People in their life that don't serve them. It could be negative thoughts, uh, you know, things that they haven't yet healed from, insecurities, fears. There's something they're letting themselves go from, okay? They're cutting ties with something that no longer serves them, that's not good for them, that is getting in the way or creating blockages between you and them. So I feel like there's a return because of that. The, they're freeing themselves from this devil toxic energy. It could be a Capricorn, three of pentacles. They want to build, okay? They know it's going to take work though. And that could be why they're delays, eight of pentacles in verse. They know they got to put in the work, right? They got to put in the work in order to really make this happen. And it's easier said than done. You know, this Eight of Pentacles is showing up, putting in their time, their energy, their effort, really showing you that they really mean business, okay? So I do see that happening, but I don't think it's going to happen right away, right? This person still has some fears. And again, they're, they're, they're having to break away from this energy. Some of you guys are having to break away from a third party, a Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries. This could be a third party or karmic or someone. Typically, if I'm not doing a fire sign reading, the Queen of Wands is the other person, right? So they could be breaking away from something or someone. So so that they can come in to have this new beginning with you. All right. So Libra, that is what I'm seeing. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So you're aware of when I upload these readings. You don't want to miss out. And your bonus extended reading for April. Happy April, you guys. Is up on Vimeo. All right, guys. Bye. Have a great weekend.